I've been taught in the past. Freedom is the societal condition that exists when 100% of the people have 100% control over their own property. So Say that one more time because we want to <clears throat> mock it completely. Okay, good. <laughs> Freedom is the societal condition that exists when 100% of the people have 100% control over their own property. We wish you the very best. <laughs> we would like to give you a different definition. Go ahead. We would say, freedom is the condition that exists within any individual when he understands that the universe is responding to his vibrational mix and he is wise enough to follow what feels good in order to bring himself into vibrational alignment with that which he desires okay. you do, on one of the uh calendar sheets you talk about government and um i've been taught that there's two definitions of one for government one for state and it kind of relates to what's going on in our lives with the way we're living in society and the uh, definition for state is the existence of a group of people that force other people to do things whether they like it or not done with with physical force and government being a group of uh, people that come together voluntarily for the common good and I think that I'd like to hear what you thought about that. Well, there are a number of things that we want to say about that. Things that we know that when you remember that you know it, it would benefit you. Most significant is this. When you look at a situation in what you are calling state rather than government, because it seems like it's looking more that way than the way you want it to be. When you look at a condition and it feels to you like your freedom, your personal freedom is eroded and like you need to be able to gather together with enough other people to convince someone else that they should do something differently in order for you to get the outcome that you seek. That is the best definition that we have ever found of bondage because you are asking something that is impossible. You're saying my personal selfish point of view says that you need to set aside your selfish point of view and contour your laws or your work or your intentions to what would serve me best and people get wrapped up in the idea that government should serve the people and we do not disagree with that but we think that there is a law that is higher and a court that is truer that if you would step apart from trying to control the behavior of others and work on your own vibration you would discover the true power of your own being now let's offer a hypothetical here let's pretend that you have an administration in place who seems to have a total disregard for what the majority of people care about and want they are serving we're making this up now stop. <laughs> They seem to be selfishly serving only their own interests. And let's pretend that people around the nation and even around the world are standing back with jaws hanging open at the incredible lack of conscience that they seem to be offering as they blatantly disregard everything that you have ever thought you learned about the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> And you read about it, think about it, stew about it, and get yourself totally disconnected about it because you are facing the facts from where you stand of the way it seems to be. And it's tearing you up because you've been launching rockets of desires all your life about freedom and about the way you want to live. You've been digesting different things through all the years that you've lived and, and you've been listening to leaders and you have a very clear picture of the way you think it ought to be. And when it isn't that way, you're hurting over it. And wanting, as so many people are, wanting conditions to change so that you can feel better. And we want to say to you that in that belief, you are rendering yourself powerless because not only can you not get organized enough to get them to change, but them doing something different is not necessary in order for you to get what you want. So it sounds to many of you like we are saying, well, I should ignore what's going on and I shouldn't get involved and I shouldn't push against and I shouldn't join the ranks of the resistance and I shouldn't get on the other side of it and I shouldn't use this as an excuse to disconnect from my source energy and 
if I don't do that, then I'll just get in my imaginary world and I'll feel better in my imaginary world. And I can let them create their own reality and I won't mind because I'm in my own world and in my little corner of the world, things are clustering around me that are going better. And we say, first of all, we do mean all of that and every bit of that will happen. In other words, you will feel better in your corner of the world. But here's the thing that we really, really, really want you to hear. In all that you are observing and in all that you are launching as the billions of people upon this planet, you are as individuals and therefore then as collective consciousness, you are launching powerful rockets of desires about how you want the world to be. And Source has become that. This world that you are dreaming, this world that feels like fantasy is a reality in the vibrational world because so many people have sought freedom from their place of bondage. And so there is this powerful, beautiful, bright world that is in the vibrational ethers that is there for you and you as an individual can just get there first if you will allow yourself to go there. And each one of you who finds your way there will be a leader for the next who will come and the next who will come and the next who will come and the next who will come. Esther said as she began watching this fantasy unfold in the real world, Esther said, I have but one wish, Abraham. I don't want to get involved because I know it is not to my benefit. But if I have one wish, it would be that what's going on becomes apparent and evident to others. In other words, let what's happening be evident so that more people are personally feeling contrast that is giving birth to more rockets of desires. Because Esther is understanding that as individuals have desires, that is a powerful thing. Part of the struggle, in fact, the main reason that you feel so much angst and struggle against government or against terrorists or against something that you feel is threatening you in some way is because you feel that you are powerless against what it seeks to do on your behalf. And what we want you to understand is that you are not powerless about anything. When you get a vision and then you find alignment with it, you are powerful and amazing things begin to happen around you. There are so many people that are using the excuse that somebody's doing something that is wrong as their excuse not to line up with the dream that has been dreamed by so many of you. The formation of your nation to begin with was but a dream that came about by contrast that people were living. And of course you say, oh, but there was action and there have been wars that have been fought. In other words, nothing came if we didn't fight for it. And we say, it came in spite of your fighting for it. It came in spite of your fighting against it. Because the well-being is the biggest stream that exists, you see. When you say, you should stop doing what you're doing, because what you're doing goes against what I believe is truth. We say, you are performing the same thing that you are accusing them of performing. You're saying, you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, and I need you to stop doing it before I can feel better. In other words, all individuals have the power to feel good and to be free. And when you turn your power over to anybody and say, you need to do something different before I can feel better, you are in trouble because you cannot control them. But you can control your point of attraction. So let's pretend that somebody has their finger on the ballot boxes and can control the outcome of elections. Let's pretend that. <laughs> and let's pretend that the election did not go in the way that the majority of the people voted for it to go. Let's pretend that. <laughs> what we really want you to hear is that you are casting your individual vibrational votes and the grassroots movement of the votes that you are casting is what makes this world go round. And generations that will follow you will benefit mightily by what's been going on recently in our pretend story. What we wish for you is that you get the benefit of it now while you are alive in your generation. So really what we're saying to you is, those people who feel all powerful, who think that they control the outcome of your experience and others, don't and aren't. As you exercise your ability to think and feel, and you prove to yourself you're doing that by the improvement of your own life manifesting around you, you'll come to know that that's the way you lead by the power of your example. 
we just have to say to you because we have the broader view and we know the true nature of who you are as you come in to these physical bodies and we know the brilliance of who you are and what this life will cause you to want and we have the benefit of being privy to the rockets of desires and what's being held in vibrational escrow and we say to you emphatically your world is not getting worse it is getting better your world is not falling apart it is always coming together the things that you are dreaming are in the process of coming to being can you not look at the problem and bless it because it is giving you the life the breath of fresh air of the desire that is now summing you forward and so can't you apply that to what's going on now can't you feel the grassroots movement of billions of people around your planet who are witnessing things that they do not want to see and launching powerful rockets of desire and can't you feel the mightiness of source coming into vibrational alignment with that human spirit that understands that it must be free in other words, what you spoke about freedom is absolute in terms of non-physical source energy perspective. It is accurate and absolute. It's the way that it is. You must be free. You are free. And no one should have the ability to take your freedom from you. And no one does when you know that. And until you do, a two-year-old can entrap you. Mm -hmm.